Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to part 6 of Let's Play European Universal War Imperial Universal is Egypt in the last part I had to end it quickly and uh, I'm gonna be ending this part soon as well at the 80 minute mark more than likely because uh, uh, as I said in the last part food is coming uh, so I will add the next part F I'll add the next minutes onto another part to be fair I normally record for 20 odd minute 22 minutes most time most minute uh, most parts when I'm a uh, deep in fort I just completely forget that I'm uh, <laughs> too busy now, Lydia would actually let me out of the war, but at the same time... You know, I don't give a... F I don't actually give a crap if Persia dies. Uh, so, you've been pulled out of the war, haven't you? You have. Good. Make non-autonomous. Make autonomous. There we go. So, we're going to get these guys done at the same time. And new settlement founded, which is great. This settlement belongs to me. Good. How close are we to getting our... Uh... We are 94 off of getting... Uh ourselves into an empire rank standing uh, standing rank you know what, just I'm gonna start annexing you early the only problem is these guys are gonna take a lot longer to annex because I don't have the guy that I had before but you know what improve relations you know I don't need that I'm not gonna be making calls for, for now I'm gonna fire those two guys I'm gonna try and get myself the guy who uh, does what I want there we go uh, oh, yeah, it's Judah. Yeah, it's, it's tributary. All right, both of you are tributaries. Uh, one minute, let's, uh, let's let me think, let me work, let me work with the new tributaries we've got. You. I can't get, I can get more people down there. I don't know of them. I'm guessing it's you as well. You know, I'm just going to make them all. I'm going to have all of these people as my tributaries. Yep, I got that one. I didn't get him, but I also got some more people in uh, it uh, over in uh, Greece because of that. But at the same time, I was going to get them anyway. So, like, eventually. So, I'm not going to complain. There we go. There's my Diplo guy. So the annexation is one's done. So, we'll get the other, nearly done. So, we'll get the other one done going. Oh start the other one off. Now, this should uh, give me uh, a good income now. It like, should uh, increase my uh, income from Crete. You know what? I think I'm just going to get Crete finished. Like, at this point, just finishing Crete sounds like a great idea. So, once Crete is uh, officially annexed, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be able to move on to more important matters, like uh, uh, expanding our borders around our currently held provinces. I think the only big problem is these guys are still not our religion. But for the most part, they seem content, so... Uh, I'm not going to complain. Uh, can I have this army, actually? Not... Well, technically, yeah, but I'm going to get rid of it anyway. Because uh, I don't really want it. I mean, I'm going to need an army over here, but at the moment, not at the moment, anyway. These guys are going to take 25, so they're going to take... They're going to be gone very, very quickly. Diplotech, we're very close. How are we still green? We're still green, so we need to, we need to get greener. Uh, let's annex you guys. Let's go. There we go. Those guys are gonna be done when they're done. It's gonna take about six months to annex you. Well, four, or five more months to annex you. And you, I don't actually have a. No, I don't know, but we'll, you'll be done soon enough. That's the best way to put it. Very happy that Judah is now our uh, uh, vassal. Because that uh, means that I'm now a little bit... I'm, I got what I wanted originally from uh, Babylon without having to do much for it. In the, in the, in the, well, the good, uh, good terms. Or oh, the good scheme of things. So we've got loads and loads of uh, tributaries. Persia is uh, still grabbing people, which is uh, interesting. Uh, so hopefully Persia doesn't grab too many people. Persia, uh, Israel, I'm not going to support your independence right now, mate. I mean, I get it, you don't want to be uh, under control, but I'm a bit busy dealing with my own vassals. Oh, right, navies, you need to go to... You need to go trade somewhere that actually makes sense. It gets to the Nile. Actually, really, I should be k p picking, uh, pulling money into Nile. You know, I'm just going to make the Aegean Sea mine when I, uh, once I control enough. You know what? If Athens just needs to be conquered, don't they? That's what I need to do. I need to conquer Athens, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but for now, we'll just trade everyone in the 
You know what? I'm leaving you in the Aegean Sea. And you know what, Navy? I actually want my Navy in Crete. There we go. Alright, we're about to get the move there. We're about to get the last of the uh, vassals dealt with. So we should be fine. Once all of these guys are annexed, we'll, uh, well, obviously we'll have all of Crete, which is actually brilliant. We have a staging ground for any actual war. Damn, we can't create any more tributaries. We have 44 tribu tributaries as well at the moment. I'm not going to lie. I'm personally impressed with that number. Uh, mostly because it's not that I didn't think it, I would be able to have that many. i just just uh, surprised it's so easy to manage. Because even tributaries should actually have unrest. And yeah, some of them do. Some of them actually do have liberty desire. Which is what they should have. But a lot of them don't. Because a lot of them, even together, are still not stronger than me. Which is the uh, miracle at the moment. I say a miracle, what I mean though is awesomeness. Now we are going to get our military tech next, uh, when as soon as we can. Just because I know it's going to be well ahead of time, but... At the moment, I would like to be uh, well ahead of time. Holy crap, my ad my morale is horrible. Like my morale is actually horrid. So we are going to try and counter it by building a, sh uh, a metric crap ton of these good bad boys in our provinces to kind of kind of offset the. Uh, well, I've heard that I I've been told that training camps offset the actual morale loss you get from a number of provinces. So. Uh, like people, like one problem, one state miners are going to have some of the best uh, morale because they're a one state miner, or one province miner, one province state, whatever you want to call it. The point being, they're still going to be very good because they're so weak. But yeah, it's uh, this is why I'm going for a more of a tributary uh, gain or win because uh, it kind of re re removes the risk unless you're fighting someone with equally bad morale, like as well, as big as you. Sparta gave me a gift. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, I'm glad you gave me uh, the money. Good sir. The nation of Tanuk, the lower liberty tributary state. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. If they want to murder you, they are welcome to murder you. Most because you may be a tributary state, but I don't care enough about you. So, if anything, you're actually like a tributary state that I took and then stopped caring about pretty quickly. But once that went the second, yeah, Crete, second Crete's done, I'm actually going to start focusing back over here. In our, uh, like, Judea, these guys, and just, like, get these guys annexed so that, uh, because they're tributary states, I don't want them to be annexed, so. The best way to stop getting them out and getting them annexed is actually, uh, uh, make it so no one wants to annex them. Oh, well, I'm going to make it so nobody can annex them, sorry. By uh, making them happy with you. And I think these guys are going to go first. So let's uh, pair that. Of course, we're going to do this while getting tech. Because tech is uh, tech's still very important right now. Okay. You know what? You know what? You can have that 6k army. You're in the Aegean Sea. Good. How much money are we making the Aegean right now? We have a 10% share already. That's interesting. So I think when we get, uh, we forget these guys, Ganix, we'll actually have a lot bigger share there. And uh, life would be really good. So maybe we need to increase our share there. We'll see. If I remember correctly, isn't Jewish like a pain in the ass of a religion? Yeah, it's a pain in the ass of a religion to beat. So I'm not looking, well, to convert. So I'm not looking forward to taking that over just yet. Mostly because I don't like effort in the sense of like conversion. I like I like a nice simple conversion, like pretty much every other conversion we're doing. I mean, look at that. And while I think about it, we got any more cheap? Uh... Nope, they're all eleven now. Um. Yeah, so West Eric, West Eric, we're not going to convert. I don't think. Actually, where is the West Eric culture? Let's have a look. Nah, we're going to convert that as well. Oh, it's a cultural union. So, yeah, we'll latch. Uh, I don't like... I'm not too fond of it, though. Like, is it the same color here? Yeah, it is. So, you know what? We'll leave it. 
Ah, oh, we'll see. I'll decide later. We can have citizen armies, can't we? Yeah, we can. We can actually raise quite a few of them. We do have a lot of manpower as well, which is good. Uh, I'll uh, satiate that. And you can be done by June of next year. Well, let's get you done then. It's going to take a little bit longer because I took a little. I, I pressed the button a bit late. It's going to be July now, but that's still that's pretty good. Um, I think I want you next. Um, how much? No, you know what? Let's make them an autonomous vassal. We should be able to share. We'll get them to the point of annexation, then we'll see how much they actually cost. Hmm. Didn't help in war. Yeah, refused to join war. Hashtag super pissed off. Don't really want... You know what? We'll lose that. We'll lose the thing. So, uh, let's make you half autonomous. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, I thought my grandma was coming into the room. <laughs> ah, ladies and gentlemen, I must admit this is a bad time for me to recording, it seems. But, uh, I will do what we can. You are non-autonomous, right? Yeah. You will be annexed so quickly that I'm actually just going to do you at the same time as I'm doing the other one. So we'll have uh, Moab, uh, yeah, Mother of All Bombs, uh, annexed pretty quickly. Uh, June, actually June of 32, so July and June of next year are going to be very good uh, time for us. And Babylon just erased my vassal. Which, uh, let's be honest, I fucking expected. So these ones are the last two need to go. Uh, Judah, I can hold off, I can hold for a little bit longer. But these guys, I'm going to get rid of them, and Judah will go last. I mean, at the moment, my religion, I'm not even going to be able to convert it quick enough to the amount of stuff I take. So, technically should be holding off right now, but I'm not. And that's a problem. I don't want to get old. No, 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 I'll hold off again. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold myself because I need to. Um, right. Right, right, right. Actually, let's have a look at trade a minute. Let me just. So the Nile, I own nearly all of the Nile. Prob I own all but the one province in the Nile. The only problem is people can tr still trade here and can push the trade out. If I pushed the trade out and I pushed it all to uh, Aegean, the Aegean would be an extremely rich trade node. Uh, people would still send boats there, but as long as I owned the majority, I would make a lot more money. So I think that's what we're going to do. Our main goal is to make the Aegean our uh, trade node. Uh, I, do, I would like to get rid of, uh, obviously, those guys first. but And there was some more culture conversion. Look at that. Kemetic is uh, just getting everywhere right now. It's brilliant. Um, pay that money for cheaper admin tech. I will do so. Wait, how long is this for again? I really should have checked that before I did that. I'm pretty sure the mathematics score is like five years. Yeah, it is. And that technically wasn't a perfectly good investment, but and apparently we're now a struggling empire, which means yeah, we're now not going to get this tech before uh, that like three percent goes away. Son of a bitch. Um, while I think about it, am I gonna? When is the next institution gonna start in me? No. I do not have a, I do not have a quarry, or nor do I have a metallic trade good. So uh, it's a big no for us right now. Actually, that's a good point. How is Crete's uh, income? Still less than it makes right now. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake! You son of a bitch, game. Judah has no one to defend them, and uh, they're currently at war with... Ah, uh, yeah, I don't... You know what? Fine, have Judah. Pricks. Right. These guys need to uh, get done. You know, just get rid of that fucking army. Who's the ones who are pissed off at me? Judah. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that like I care. Send additional troops. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh... Right, we need to get these guys into a non-autonomous non vassal. Or half autonomous so they don't get declared war on. You sons of bitches. How you dare you turn down on me? See, Babylon, I could probably fight them, ladies and gentlemen. But at the moment, I just don't want to be in a, a, a war right this second. Like, I'm not currently uh, interested in fighting these idiots. So, I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to get rid of all the ships I just got there. 
Right, you need to hurry up and let me fucking annex you. Or let me get you into my start the annexation process. You have no unlimited desire against me, sweet little bitch. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. Well, Judah is going to disappear and uh, not be under me. Babylon have got a pretty cool looking unit as well. Same as the Persian, but uh, with Babylon's uh, logo on. Pretty cool, actually. I think I'm gonna have to start making all these guys disappear as well. Like at the moment, I think I'm just gonna have to start making everyone who's too close to Babylon to disappear, or at the very least, make them a non -auto a half autonomous vassal, so no one there. Uh, if anyone does declare, will try to declare on them. They'd have to go through me as well. Like if we look at the great power standings, I am currently the most powerful. I mean, I really wish. Actually, no. Yeah, I can become an empire once I get enough to uh, uh, prestige again. It's gonna take a while for me to get that prestige, but god damn it, I will get that prestige. There we go, you're half autonomous now. Good. You are now technically safe, but I think I'm gonna try and get rid of I'm gonna make you non-autonomous and then I'm gonna see how much you're actually worth. No, 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 no. National tax, yes, please. A national tax will make me like a lot more money than I want, basically. Right, so you cost eight for you. You're gonna get annexed really quickly, which is what I want. Then we're going to work on uh, Cyprus. And then we're going to work on other people. Like down here. Because I know these guys, I can I can do these guys. So we'll work on those when we need to. But Annex and you will take until October. Let's get it done. Of oh, next, uh, two years. Because we're only, we only get three right now. Guys, we just wanted two alliances. On the alliance goes away in 35 and 37. I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, that's actually a painful uh, thing. Uh, that one quarry is useful, the rest of them are kind of pointless. So uh, let's get quick with some, uh, get some quick buildings done. And, uh, yeah, well, now that these guys are beginning the annexation process, I think I want to get rid of these guys now. Because they are the uh, most open to attack, and they're going to take them bloody longest as well, aren't they? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have something to work on, at least. We've got a royal marriage with them, we're going to improve their relations, and then we're going to just murder them. Sounds cruel, because it is. Let's get our dip from that ready. Um, 14th of November, we can send some more money. Come on. So yeah, once these guys, are, once Cyprus is done, we'll, uh... I don't think we'll have any more problems, uh, with, uh, enemies. Yeah, we've got to wait a little bit. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to do this part here. If you guys enjoyed, see you guys next part. See you guys then.